Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today we dive into the world of popular culture from the perspective of the renowned cultural theorist, John Story. John Story, an eminent figure in the realm of cultural studies, has significantly contributed to our understanding of popular culture. His work is a rich tapestry of ideas, interpretations, and insights that unfurl the intricate layers of popular culture. Story is best known for his perspective that popular culture is a site of struggle. He posits that it's a battleground where dominant and subordinate groups vie for supremacy. This perspective is both enlightening and provocative. It encourages us to see popular culture not merely as a form of entertainment, but as a dynamic arena where societal power relations play out. Story's perspective on popular culture is marked by an emphasis on its contested nature. He argues that it's not a unified or homogeneous entity, but a space where different meanings and values clash and negotiate. This view challenges us to reconsider our understanding of popular culture and to acknowledge its complexity and diversity. John's story also provides us with six different ways of defining popular culture, each offering a unique lens through which we can examine this fascinating subject. These definitions range from viewing popular culture as the culture that is widely favored or well-liked by many people, to seeing it as a space where societal norms are both reflected and contested. Story's definitions help us appreciate the multifaceted character of popular culture. They remind us that it's not just about what's trending or mainstream, but also about the underlying power dynamics, social relations, and ideological conflicts. So, as we delve deeper into the world of popular culture, let's keep in mind Story's perspective. It's a perspective that illuminates the complexities and contradictions of popular culture, urging us to see beyond its surface. John Story's perspective presents popular culture not just as entertainment, but as a complex social phenomenon. As we proceed, we'll explore more about his views and their implications, so, stay tuned as we navigate this exciting journey through the landscape of popular culture. John Story proposed six definitions of popular culture, each with its unique insights. First up, we have culture that is widely favored or well-liked by many people. This interpretation is straightforward, suggesting that anything popular from music genres to fashion trends is part of popular culture. However, it doesn't delve into the complexities of why some things become popular while others don't. The second definition is culture which originates from the people. This definition implies that popular culture is inherently democratic emerging organically from the masses rather than being imposed from above. It's all about folk traditions, local customs, and grassroots movements. Next we have culture that's left over after we've decided what's high culture. This suggests that popular culture is a residual category, comprising everything that's not considered high or elite culture. It's the soap operas and reality TV shows that we indulge in, as opposed to the opera or classical literature. The fourth definition is mass-produced commercial culture. This perspective views popular culture as a product of the capitalist system, manufactured and distributed for profit. It's the blockbuster movies, chart-topping hits, and best-selling novels that are designed to appeal to the widest possible audience. Story's fifth definition is media culture. This interpretation sees popular culture as a creation of the mass media, which plays a significant role in shaping our tastes, values, and beliefs. It's the news stories, advertisements, and social media trends that influence our perceptions of the world. Finally, there's culture as a site of struggle between dominant and subordinate groups. This perspective highlights the power dynamics in popular culture, where different societal groups vie for representation and influence. It's the push and pull between mainstream narratives and alternative voices, shaping the cultural landscape. These definitions reveal the multifaceted nature of popular culture and the power dynamics involved. Each interpretation offers a unique lens through which to view popular culture, shedding light on its complexity and diversity. From the music we listen to, the movies we watch, to the clothes we wear, popular culture permeates every aspect of our lives. So, whether it's seen as the culture of the masses, a residual category, a commercial product, a media creation, or a site of struggle, popular culture is a fascinating and complex phenomenon. It's a mirror reflecting societal values, a battleground for ideological conflicts, and a marketplace for commercial interests. In understanding Story's six definitions, we gain a more nuanced perspective of popular culture. We see that it's not just about what's trendy or mainstream, it's about power relations, ideological battles, and the interplay between the global and the local, the elite and the masses, the mainstream and the marginal. 
Indeed, popular culture is a complex beast, constantly evolving and transforming, shaped by societal forces and shaping society in return. It's a dynamic, multifaceted entity that offers a rich tapestry of insights into our collective consciousness. These definitions reveal the multifaceted nature of popular culture and the power dynamics involved. Story's views on popular culture extend beyond definitions. He also explores its impact on society, media, and everyday life. John Story believed that popular culture is more than just entertainment. It's a lens through which we view and understand the world. According to him, popular culture shapes our identities and social relations. It's a mirror that reflects who we are and what we believe in. It's a language that we use to communicate and negotiate our place in the world. Whether we are conscious of it or not, the music we listen to, the movies we watch, the fashion trends we follow, all these elements shape our identities and influence how we relate to others. Story also stressed the significant role of media in disseminating popular culture. In his view, media is not a neutral conduit for culture. It shapes and filters popular culture, deciding what gets seen and heard, and what doesn't. It can amplify certain voices while silencing others. It can validate certain experiences while marginalizing others. In this way, media is a powerful force in creating and perpetuating cultural norms and values. But the influence of popular culture, according to Story, doesn't stop at shaping identities and social relations. It permeates our everyday lives. It impacts the way we think, the way we relate to others, the way we perceive the world. It can challenge our beliefs, stimulate our imaginations, inspire us to think critically and creatively. It can bring us together, fostering a sense of belonging and community. It can also divide us, highlighting differences and conflicts. In other words, popular culture is not a passive spectator in our lives. It is an active participant, shaping and being shaped by our actions and interactions. It is a dynamic and evolving force, constantly reflecting and influencing the world we live in. For Story, popular culture is a powerful force that shapes our world in profound ways. Story's work also sheds light on the underlying themes and the evolution of popular culture over time. One of the most significant themes in popular culture as identified by Story is the continuous interplay between dominant and subordinate groups. This theme isn't merely a static observation but is an ongoing process that shapes the very fabric of popular culture. Story postulates that popular culture is a site of struggle where meanings and pleasures are both produced and consumed. This struggle is not just between different classes but also between different generations, genders and ethnic groups. It is through this struggle that popular culture evolves, changes and transforms. Story also emphasizes the theme of commercialization in popular culture. The mass production and mass consumption of cultural goods, he argues, has led to the commodification of culture. As a result, popular culture has become a significant driving force in the global economy. Another theme that Story highlights is the role of media in disseminating popular culture. He asserts that media, particularly new media, have democratized the production and consumption of popular culture, allowing individuals to participate in shaping cultural narratives like never before. Now let's talk about the evolution of popular culture. According to Story, popular culture has evolved from being a culture of the people to a culture that is popular. This shift, he argues, is primarily due to the advent of mass media and the commercialization of culture. However, the evolution of popular culture is not a linear process, it is continually influenced by the struggle between dominant and subordinate groups, the commercialization of culture, and the role of media in shaping cultural narratives. As a result, popular culture is dynamic and ever-changing, reflecting the complexities and contradictions of society. In essence, Story's perspective on the themes and evolution of popular culture is both enlightening and thought-provoking. It encourages us to look beyond the surface of popular culture and delve into the deeper meanings and implications it holds. Story's perspective provides a dynamic and nuanced understanding of popular culture. John Story's perspective on popular culture offers a rich and insightful framework for understanding this pervasive aspect of our lives. With this, we've reached the end of our discussion today. We've delved into Story's six definitions of popular culture, each one providing a unique lens through which to view our society and our lives. We've also explored the broad-reaching impact of popular culture, touching on how it shapes and is shaped by media, society, and daily life. The themes and evolution of popular culture as interpreted by Story reveal a dynamic and ever-changing landscape that reflects and influences our collective consciousness. 
Story's perspective therefore is not just a tool for academic study but a lens for understanding the world around us. As we wrap up, let's remember that popular culture in all its vibrancy and complexity is a mirror to ourselves. It's our shared stories, our common dreams, and our collective voice. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed our content, let us know what you want to see next in the comments down below.